Attention fans, unique opportunity alert for the Vikings. Minnesota has a golden chance in their hands and need to act fast to sign a crucial free agent who is shaking up the NFL market and rivals are watching closely. Analysts are saying it's a must move for the Vikings to strengthen their defensive line. Stick with this news till the end to find out why they're convinced that the team needs to make this signing before other teams do. Welcome. We're about to hit 2,000 subscribers. Join our purple and gold community and get all the Vikings updates. Show your Vikings fan unity to reach 100 thumbs up on today's video. First off, do you know that the salary cap space isn't really an issue for the Vikings in 2024? That's right. The team currently has over $26 million in cap space, but only about $15 million is functionally usable. This number takes into account the need for the Vikings to sign both J.J. McCarthy and Dallas Turner, in addition to the practice squad and the final two salaries, since only the top 51 are counted. So, what are the Vikings doing with all that available cap space? Here comes the real question. In the dull period between June and July, there's a lot of speculation about what teams can do with that extra cap space. And there are still good free agents available on the market. Christopher Knox of Bleacher Report believes the Vikings should focus on Emmanuel Ogba. Why him, you ask? Ogba has harassed opposing quarterbacks as both a linebacker and a defensive end in the NFL. Although he has never recorded a 10-sack season, he's had several strong years as a high-end complimentary piece. Last season, Ogba recorded 5.5 sacks and 15 quarterback pressures while playing only 25% of the defensive snaps in Miami. His ability to make an impact in a limited role makes Ogba a valuable addition. The Minnesota Vikings could also consider Ogba after bolstering their pass rusher rotation this offseason. Danielle Hunter is gone, but Jonathan Greenard, Andrew Van Ginkle, Jihad Ward, and rookie Dallas Turner were added. Adding Ogba would be a bonus for Minnesota, and it's worth noting his connection with Brian Flores, Vikings defensive coordinator, who was his coach in Miami during the two nine-sack campaigns by Ogba in 2020 and 2021. This is the key moment, dear fans. Emmanuel Ogba could really be that boost that puts the final touch on the defense, especially now that Knox points out that he's not an outside linebacker, but an edge who would play with his hand in the dirt and use his 35-inch arms to his advantage on all three downs. Why is Ogba still available as a free agent? He struggled to stay on the field post-Flores, partly due to injury. If the Vikings notice issues on the defensive line during training, Ogba will be an interesting option to have on the roster. So, Vikings fans, what's your take on bringing Emmanuel Ogba to bolster the defense? Would he be the final block to solidify the wall of the defensive line this season? Let's continue this discussion in the comments. Your opinion makes a big difference. Become part of this purple and gold community. Hit that subscribe button to receive more exclusive news like this. Stay tuned. Skull Vikings, let's go.